Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. This Rubicon is in the all new color for 2022 on the Jeep Wrangler. It's called High Velocity Clear Coat, and it's uh, definitely like a bright yellow, but not too bright. It's got almost a little bit of a green uh, hue to it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments on this particular uh, color and just this Wrangler in general and the video if you got anything to add about it. Anyways, I'm going to go all the way around in this video, inside, start it up, take a look at uh, all the options and everything that this particular one has, including the original window sticker. Um, and we did a shorter video. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Otherwise, just watch this one to get all the uh, information. We're going to turn all the lights on at the end of the video too, so it won't be that long. Anyways, this is a 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. It has the 3 liter V6 Eco Diesel version 3 engine and it puts out 260 horsepower, 442 foot pounds of torque, and uh, it's going to get you 21 miles per gallon city, 26 highway for an average of 23 miles per gallon. Now it's a little bit less than uh, you may have seen like on the Sport or the Sahara, but the Rubicon's a little bit heavier, a um, little bit different uh, drivetrain and everything. So it's, uh, it gets a little bit less fuel economy, uh, different axle ratios actually. So um, anyways, that's why the Sport and Sahara get a little bit better fuel mileage with the Eco Diesel. Uh, you get the red tow hooks, the uh, factory fog lights right there. You get the seven slotted grill. It does have a front trail, or a front trail cam on there. This one also has the 3 liter diesel uh, sticker on the hood. So that's what that looks like. You get the Rubicon with the red outlines on the hood there as well. The painted fenders, you also get the painted hard top, which I really like, especially in a bright color like this. A couple little Easter eggs, you get these sandals on the shroud there and the Jeep climbing up the windshield. You also get the T50 on the doors to let you know which Torx wrench to use on the doors to get those off. And we actually did a video on how to take your doors off if you want to check that out. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. All right, here is the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. You get the high velocity clear coat, black interior, three liter V6, uh, diesel engine, the eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment uh, on the Rubicon. So feel free to pause that. And then uh, right there is your optional equipment. The high velocity clear coat is 395. Leather trim bucket seats are 1995. This one does have the cold weather group, which gives you the heated front seats, remote start and heated steering wheel. And that's an $1,195 option. Eight speed automatic transmission is $2,500. Three liter uh, V6 diesel is a $3,500 option. Comes with an 18.3 gallon fuel tank. The color match hard top is $2,695. Um, that deletes the soft top from there. You also get the body color Rubicon Highline Flare, which is $995. The diesel three liter hood graphic is $245. And the 17 inch by seven and a half inch black wheels with machine lip are $1,095 options. And the integrated off-road camera in the front is $695. Total MSRP on this one is $62,715. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to that. Um, still with chip shortages and everything, these vehicles are hard to come by. So not sure what we have this one priced at on our website, but click that link and it'll take you right to our website. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and you get the five year 100,000 powertrain with that diesel engine. There your, there's your fuel economy, 21 city, 26 highway and 23 average. And it's not really rated for safety ratings. It does have a three star for rollover. Anyways, we're gonna keep rolling here. What I do like on the Rubicons and the, uh, well, any of the Wranglers for that matter, um, if you get the painted front fender or the painted fenders, you get this tape this 3m rock guard on the rear fender flares so that keeps your investment nice color match top looks really good 
This one comes with BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires. These are LT285 70R 17s and all the Wranglers come with four-wheel disc brakes. There are those special machine lipped um, alloy rims on there. Look really good. A lot of black, red, and yellow accents throughout on this particular Jeep, even the interior, but the tail lights, the red tow hooks, all really goes well together, even the little Jeep on the back, on the rim there. Back storage area is ample. You get a case for your front hard top pieces. You also have the Alpine premium sound system and 8.4 radio in this one. Back storage area. I like that they put the subwoofer over there now because this back area came back. They used to have the subwoofer in the floor there. Took all your storage underneath away. And then you get holders for your door hinges, roof, and windshield bolts. And you put them in there when you take your, your hard top off. You get three bolts on the side, three bolts on the other side, two on the top, and two quick disconnects to get this hard top off. We actually did a demo on how to take your hard top off your JL Wrangler. If you want to check out that video, that is in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. Um, one other thing to note is that they color match these bars. So when you do have the hard top off, you know, it, everything looks really good. Here is your JL badge on the back gives you a wheelbase overall length for the two door and the four door and then water fording as well as where it's built so they started doing that in 2018 when they started making the jails those back doors are a lot lighter than the old jk's you get the black fuel door right there and uh Enter and go system, so you just have to have the key in your pocket, put your hand in the door, it'll automatically unlock. Heated mirrors inside the Rubicon package with the leather trim bucket seats gives you the black leather interior, the red stitching, the red Rubicon stitched into the backrest, and a lumbar driver's seat height adjuster, and uh, it does have side airbags now on there as well. Um, auto headlamps, power locks, power mirrors. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. I think they made the back area a lot bigger in the JLs as opposed to the JKs. Uh, you do get the latch child safety system. You get uh, cup holders and the headrest back here. That's kind of neat. And then you can get these seats down with the latch right there. What I, also they, lay, they did is they put a lever here so they can just put the headrest down. And uh, if that's a lot nicer, if you're, nobody's riding with you for better visibility, but then these seats go down and they go down really nice and flat. Um, before it was always pretty tricky to get these down because the headrest kind of pushed up against the back seat. But uh, now that it flips down like that, really nice. Child safety locks on the back doors. We'll hop inside, check out the miles radio, and then do a final walk around on the outside here. You get the seven inch LCD display on there. We'll just dim it down a little bit. You get the uh, digital speedometer, um, compass display, fuel economy, or fuel life. Um, you can change those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. This one does have the red dash. No, remember what I was saying has the red accents with the black and the yellow even goes into the interior here So that's pretty cool. Everything matches nicely leather wrap steering wheel This is a heated steering wheel with that cold weather group Bluetooth and information center controls notice you get the red stitching on there the cruise controls on the right um, Audio controls in the back. It does have tilt and telescopic steering wheel And what I mean by that is it tilts up, but then it will also go in or come towards you and uh, you can pretty much adjust it anywhere you want. So the 8.4 4C radio comes with the factory navigation system. It does have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You have the heated seats, heated steering wheel uh, buttons there as well. And you can check out your backup camera. They've made these HD now, so they are crystal clear. Um, so if you put a hitch on here, you can get hooked up to your bullet camper or trailer the first time every time. Then you can also check out your front camera too. 
And what's kind of cool about that is those grid lines are dynamic, kind of showing you where you're going to be going in the future. So if you were on a trail or something, you could really use that to your advantage and not have to get out and see if you're going to hit that log or hit that post or whatever. So really, really cool system right there. It does have all your different apps on here as well, including your off-road pages, your projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We actually did a demo on Android Auto. If you want to check that out, that video is in the upper right-hand part of the screen as well. Then you have your off-road pages. They do take a second to load, so while they're loading, I'll note that it has all your climate controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel down there as well. Maybe lost, but never stuck. And then there are your off-road pages. You get your steering angle, which changes like that it tells you if your sway bar is connected or um, disconnected if your front axle is locked or unlocked same with the rear latitude longitude altitude accessory gauges your pitch and roll and then your trail clamp your trail cam once again you can get to that from there as well so a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this radio uh, we could spend probably an hour just going through it uh, window controls USB USB C and an AUX jack front and rear uh, locking or you can just lock the rears on those axles in off-road plus mode and sway bar disconnect 4x4 shifter your 8-speed automatic transmission with your uh, little Jeep logo on the top there it does have the keyless entry with the remote start now you can put that key right there when you're driving kind of a nice holding spot it does have the flipper key which is pretty cool and these keys are really chunky they're really hefty so you know which key is in your pocket at all times and that's pretty much it um, for the interior you get the quick disconnects up top you can take these front hard top pieces off and just drive with those off and not have to take the back hard top piece off um, assistant sos buttons home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems I'm going to start it up. We're going to take a quick look under the hood and then we'll do a final walk around with all the lights on. And the eco diesels are really quiet. Um, you honestly forget that you're driving an eco diesel when you're driving one because they are so quiet. So, once again, under the hood, we have the 3 liter Eco Diesel V6. I think it's the version 3. 260 horsepower, 442 foot pounds of torque. Um, 21 highway, or 21 city, 26 highway, 23 average. And uh, not really that loud. Uh, there's your emissions sticker. Really a sharp looking Wrangler. Like I said, we're gonna do final walk around here with all the lights on, um, just so you can get a really good look at it and everything. This one would definitely be on my list of Wranglers to get. Love the color like the options on the interior has a premium sound group I like the rims i like the engine and uh really a good looking ride thanks for checking out the video i really appreciate it remember to like subscribe and share uh, share your thoughts in the comments below and to see more pictures of this jeep or one of our other 400 550 new and used cars trucks suvs minivans wranglers you name it we got to go to that website right there summitauto.com Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, um, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how, you how to take your hard top off your JL in the upper right, a link to how do you take your doors off in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Um, I might even put a link in there to uh, how to more Wrangler videos that I've done. Uh, click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon in um, 
high velocity yellow. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.